hope you're all doing well. So in my holiday vlog, loads of you guys told me you were going away this year, especially in August. It seems to be a very popular time to go away. Um, so I wanted to do a what's in my holiday travel toiletries bag. That's a bit long-winded, so I don't know what I'm actually gonna call this video. So I thought I would show you everything that I would be taking with me if I was going somewhere again this year. I don't know if we are, hopefully we are. This is a bag I take all of my toiletries in. So this doesn't really include makeup. Um, I usually just take what I wear most days and most evenings. I don't tend to change up that much. But obviously you have to take a bunch of toiletries with you. I am such a bad overpacker, but I try and get everything into this bag. This is by Alphabet Bags. It says the name in here. Yeah, alphabetbags.com. I'll put the link to their website below. And it's really cute. It says Bon Voyage. And it's just like the perfect toiletry bag. It's a lot larger than a makeup bag. So I'm just going to go through it and show you everything that I take with me. So I have left out a few boring things like toothpaste, razors, um, I haven't included a shampoo and conditioner because I don't have a travel size one at the moment because I've already used all of that, um, but obviously I would take those with me, so this is pretty much everything else. So let's just dig straight in. The first thing I wanted to show you is this. This is the new um, Saint Tropez Gradual Tan in Shower. Now obviously it's quite large, but this is great for a holiday because it gives you a very subtle colour. Um, so it's great for if you have a natural tan anyway, but you just want to keep, keep it up, top it up. All you do is you jump in the shower, clean yourself, wash yourself, everything you normally do. Jump out and apply this all over your body. You wait for three minutes, you jump back in the shower, and wash it all off and then dry yourself. I think it's available everywhere now, so this stuff is amazing and I hope all towns become like this eventually so you don't have to go to bed and like lay out like this and feel all sticky and hot and horrible just because you want to be tanned. So <laughs> that's really good. Um, keeping with tanning type products, obviously if you're going somewhere hot this year, you really want to take a good sun cream or sun protection product. I actually have um, a sun, this is more like an oil, this is the Boots Sultan Invisible Dry Touch Transparent Sun Care Spray. So it looks like this, and it looks like water in the bottle, but it actually comes out quite an oily consistency, which is quite nice because I feel like an oil based product does help you to get a tan, but obviously it's a sun care product, so you're not going to burn. The thing you always need to really look out for on these products is the UV rating on the back. Everyone always looks at the SPF rating, obviously, which is great to look out for as well, and this is 30. Um, it also says it's on the front, but you want to look for the UVA protection. That protects you from the UV rays of the sun, which are the harmful cancer-causing rays. So this has five stars, so that's brilliant. This one is really good. It says the ultra highest UV rating. And I really like it because applying a cream just again gets a little bit sticky. This is like a dry oil, so it's really cool and I really like it. But for my face, I take like a smaller one like this. This is the Vici Ideal Soleil. Soleil. Okay, I can't speak French. This is a Factor 50 SPF sun cream. Um, this one actually doesn't have the UV protection on the back, so I do need to check that out. But this is just what I took with me when we went on holiday in this country. Obviously, that doesn't really matter. The sun is the sun. You need to protect it, whatever country you're in. But again, I would recommend a face one, maybe a cream, not an oil, um, with the five plus five factor in. But I really do like the Vici Sun Care products. These are really nice, and it's just good to have a little sized face one so you can like take it in your beach bag or your handbag and then just apply it constantly throughout the day. I don't know about you but when I go on holiday I love to take a fragrance with me that's always going to remind me of that holiday and that summer. So this product is like that in a nutshell. This is a perfume from the Body Shop's new Voyage collection. These perfumes are absolutely beautiful. I went to a launch for um, body shop a few weeks ago now and literally I was just in love with everything but I'm going to tell you about that in a different video but I wanted to just tell you about this perfume this is one of the five different perfumes they've launched and this is Italian Fig this perfume is 
so gorgeous and literally if you took it on holiday and wore it every day and then every day throughout the rest of the summer it would always remind you of that summer it's just this really unusual scent if you like fruity scents if you like the scent of fig you're obviously going to love this but it has so much more to it it's got this kind of like fresh leafy scent as well but then there's some fruity and floral tones in there and also like an undertone of woody scent so there's a bit of everything it's quite a powerful sophisticated fragrance but it's also really fresh and summery it's hard to explain but definitely go into the body shop and just try these out i want to talk to you about the whole range but obviously that would take up this whole video so this is what they look like the bottles are so cute um and they're a good size as well and they're very like sturdy and durable so they're a good glass perfume bottle to take with you so yeah this is just absolutely heavenly oh, that smells so nice so yeah this is italian summer fig and i love it you guys know i am one for layering up scents i absolutely adore doing that with whatever perfumes i'm using so they also have the mist this is perfect again you could throw this in your beach bag take it down to the pool and you could spritz this all day and just keep the scent going all day long obviously it smells the same it's got a really good scent actually even though it's a mist and not a perfume it has this gorgeous wallpaper style print on it and the packaging for this is really cute as well these two mixed together just layered up work beautifully so i highly recommend these okay so i haven't included like any razors or anything like that like i said but i did just want to show you one of my favorite um shaving foams for obviously my legs not my face that's really awkward <laughs> okay so this is the gillette satin care um this is in radiant apricot and it's just such a lovely scent i love using this and I find these so much better than using my whatever shower gel or shower cream I'm using. Just these are for a purpose. If you're used to just using, say, your normal shower gel when you shave your legs, try using a product like this, a shaving foam, because it works so much better. I would really recommend just trying one. And this is actually a little travel-sized one that I got in Superdrug. Um, you can get larger ones, but that's actually pretty big, so that will last you a while. Just go on to a few hair things. So I have my miniature L'Oreal Elnet hairspray. Don't think I could be without this stuff. I've used this for years. Um, I love to have one of these in my bag anyway, regardless if, if I'm going on holiday or just out and about. These are amazing favourite hairspray, so that's that. And also... Um, a product that I really love is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. So this looks like this. I don't think this is a travel size. I think this is how it comes. That could be wrong. Actually, I think it is a travel size one. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know. Anyway, this is like um, a salt spray, a beachy spray. Um, when I don't have like really curly hair, more like second day hair like today, I just like to put a salt spray in it and just like tussle it up a little bit and you know it just looks kind of more beachy and relaxed and stuff like that so this is a really really nice one um there's quite a lot of salt sprays out there i like this is actually quite expensive um but it's really good i wasn't really going to include makeup because this isn't my makeup bag but there are some things that i just couldn't leave out because i absolutely love them especially for the summer so the first one is the cordially vino perfect um radiant tinted moisturizer this has an spf of 20 in it so that's a great start um this is actually in the color 01 light i don't personally find it that pale it actually matches my skin tone quite well so if you're very tanned on holiday you might need to go a, a shade up from this um but it's a really really gorgeous tinted moisturizer um probably can't see that but it's I would say it's halfway between a foundation and a tinted moisturiser. Definitely gives you coverage, which let's all be honest, we want that from a tinted moisturiser, otherwise we would just wear moisturiser. Um, yeah, it's got a really nice coverage. It's It does have a scent, but it's not overpowering. It doesn't feel like you've put something really perfumed on your skin. Um, I do love Caudalie products in general, but I've recently started using this one and I absolutely love it. Can't say I would use it as it gets more into the autumn winter. But for summer and holidays and the hot weather especially, 
this stuff is lovely. And another product which is great for the heat, the sun, when you're sweaty, when you are shiny, is this. This is from Benefit's professional range, but this is the License to Blot blotting stick. So you may be familiar with blotting paper, blotting powders, things like that. This comes in a little stick form and it kind of looks a little bit like a lip balm, I guess. Um, all you do, I'll just try and demonstrate, is you sweep it over so any shiny areas, can't see what I'm doing right now, but that just helps to eliminate um, the shine for up to six hours. So again, it's a really handy little product that you can chuck in your bag and you just have a quick look, blot away and it works really, really well. So yeah, it's part of the professional range and I really like it, so I recommend this very highly. Couple more things, a deodorant. This is the Nivea Invisible for black and white. Um, it's got 48 hour protection and there's not really much more I can say about it. Everyone needs a deodorant. Um, this is a nice, again, little travel size. The scent's really nice and it's great because it doesn't leave white marks on your black or coloured clothes. So this is good. And then finally, again, slightly more makeup-y product, but I did want to mention it because now I know how to say the brand. This is the Soigne brand. I did mention this in my last favourites video, but a different colour. But I'm obsessed with their nail polishes. This one is a favourite of mine because it like matches my lipstick. And this is one of my favourite shades. A lot of people ask about this colour and it's NARS Red Square and it's kind of an orangey red. It's like my favourite red ever. Um, this is called, now I'm not going to be able to say the name, now I've learned the brand, I can't say the name. Pample Mousse. Pample Mousse. I'll put it in the description guys. Um, butchering the French language as usual. But yeah, it's this really gorgeous, probably lighter than my lipstick shade if I'm honest, but it's like a corally orangey red. It's gorgeous for the summer, it looks amazing with a tan, it looks lovely on toenails. So, that's that one. I probably could have included so much more stuff, if I'm honest. Um, and I didn't even really include any skincare products. But a lot of them, like I said, are more general what I use anyway. I don't like to change up my routine that much. I stick to my skincare regime. So, these are more products that I change up because I'm going on holiday. So, I hope that makes sense and you really enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite products were, if there's any that you're now excited to try or you've tried already and you love, please let me know. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you all have lovely holidays, whether you're going far away, abroad, on an aeroplane, staying in this country or even having a little break at home. I hope you all have lovely summers, whatever you're doing. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.